So it started uh, with a study of autopsied uh, human brain from uh, people who had been previously diagnosed with uh, major depression. So we were uh, very surprised to see uh, that the coupling between two dopamine receptors was significantly enhanced in those uh, people's brain. Uh, we then identified uh, um, using biochemical approach uh, the site uh, where the two receptors bind to each other. With that information, we generated um, a protein peptide that is able to disrupt the binding of these two receptors. Uh, the peptide was then um, tested in animal model of uh, depression and compared with existing antidepressant uh, medications. Uh, we found that uh, administration of the peptide uh, caused a significant improvement in depression-associated uh, behavior. In fact, uh, the improvement was equivalent to that of taking traditional antidepressant uh, medication. So currently, uh, uh, physicians uh, have uh, relied on medications that work by raising neurotransmitter levels, primarily by blocking serotonin or norepinephrine transporters. But uh, this antidepressant medication are not effective in all patients, and also they can cause uh, various side effects. So with this peptide, we have identified a novel therapeutic target for the development of novel um, antidepressant. So if we are exploring two options. So the first one involves a modification uh, and optimization of the peptide to be eventually used as a peptide therapeutic. And the other one is involving a screen, a small organic molecule that mimic the effect of this peptide.